Good morning children. Today we shall learn a topic in grammar. Our topic for today is removal of the adverb to. The word to is an adverb. The work of an adverb is that it qualifies a verb, an adjective and an adverb. This word has two meanings. One which means also or as well. For example, this sentence, I too want coffee, qualifies a verb. Here, the adverb to qualifies the verb want. The second meaning of to is something that is more desirable or necessary. For example, he is too nervous, qualifies an adjective. Here, the adverb to qualifies the adjective nervous. See the meaning of this sentence. He is too nervous means he is more nervous than necessary. This gives a negative sense because anything that is more than necessary or more than de desirable takes a negative sense. Therefore, the adverb to sometimes gives a negative sense. Let's learn type 1 of removal of 2. We have an example displayed on the screen. He too felt happy. Now, what is the meaning of to in this sentence? It means also. In this sentence, the adverb to qualifies the verb felt, just like we had learnt earlier. Now, what are we learning? How to remove to? So, to do that, we will have to replace the adverb to with the word also. And so, now our sentence will be, he also felt happy. We will take another sentence. She likes me too. What is the meaning of to in this sentence? It means also or as well. So we can remove to and rewrite our sentence as she likes me also or she likes me as well. Remember children that while removing the adverb to we don't have to change the meaning of the sentence. The meaning of the sentence remains the same. Let's try and solve this exercise. Rewrite the following sentences by replacing the adverb to. So we've got to remove the adverb to and rewrite our sentences. Let's begin with the first sentence. I'll come to. In this sentence, the adverb to means also. So our sentence will be I'll come also. The second sentence I too like oranges. Our, sen our sentence will be, I also like oranges. The third sentence, are you new to? Our sentence, are you new as well? The last sentence, I too want to go out with you. Answer, I as well want to go out with you. The second type of removal of to is that when it qualifies an adjective or an adverb. When its meaning is more than desirable or necessary. For example, he was too shy means he was very shy or extremely shy or excessively shy. All these words indicate something more. So, I can remove to by replacing it with words like very, extremely and excessively. For example, I can replace to by writing my sentences as He was very shy or He was extremely shy or he was excessively shy. 
Learning the second type, now let's try and solve these exercises. Rewrite the following sentences by replacing the adverb to. The first sentence, the soup was too hot. Too hot means more hot than necessary. So our sentence will be, the soup was very hot. The second sentence, Tom speaks too fast. Answer. Tom speaks extremely fast. The third sentence. It's too dangerous. It's very dangerous. The fourth sentence. The box was too heavy. The box was excessively heavy. We can remove too by using the comparative degree of adjectives and adverbs. Such as, see this sentence, Gita is too weak. In this sentence, the adjective is weak. What is the comparative degree of weak? It is weaker. So our sentence after removing to will be, Gita is weaker than she should be. Now, we are using the word be. At the end because this sentence contains a B form of verb that is is. Is is a B form of verb. Helping verbs such as is, am and are are all B form of verbs. There is another way to write this sentence without the adverb to. That is Gita is weaker than it is proper. We use it is proper in the sentence to keep the meaning of the sentence intact. That Gita was very weak. Now let's look at another example. It is too hot. After removing the adverb to, our sentence will be It is hotter than it should be. Or, it is hotter than it is proper. Let's take another example. He runs too slowly. After removing the adverb to, our sentence will be, He runs more slowly than he should. Now look here. We did not add the word be as there is no be form of verb seen in the sentence. We stopped at should. We only use be in the end when there is a be form of verb already in the sentence. Similarly, we'll take another example. You talk too much. There is no be form of verb seen here. So our sentence is, you talk more than you should. Type 3 of removal of two is when you see the words to, to in the sentence. Now look at this example. He was too weak to walk. Means, this person was so weak that he was unable to walk. What we can see in this sentence is the presence of the word to, to, which we are supposed to remove and rewrite the sentence. For that, we will use the word so instead of two and the word that instead of the other two. Plus we are going to add a helping verb. For helping verbs we can use the words can and will in the present tense and could or would in the past tense. Now let's see how can we write this sentence. We will begin by writing the subject and the verb as it is, he was. Then instead of to, we will write so, followed by the adjective weak. Then instead of to, we will write that. Then we will repeat the subject, that is he, and mm. use a negative helping verb, couldn't. And write the remaining part of the sentence, that is, walk. So our sentence is, 
he was so weak that he couldn't walk now you see children i have rewritten the sentence by removing the adverb to in which i have not changed the meaning of the sentence nor changed the tense of the sentence now also notice this that the original sentence he was too weak is in the positive is a positive sentence it does not contain negative words but when i changed this sentence while removing to i made my sentence into a negative sentence that means what we learn is that when we remove to from the sentence a positive sentence changes into a negative one it is vice versa also where if our if our the sentence containing to is a negative sentence then when we remove to our rewritten sentence will be a positive sentence now look at this sentence it is too cold to play out the meaning of the sentence is that it is so cold that someone is not able to play out we use the same rule when removing to using so that and the helping verb notice this that the sentence is in the positive when we rewrite the sentence after removing to the sentence must become a negative sentence okay so we'll see how our sentence is written it is so cold that we cannot play out okay you'll see here that we've used the pronoun we the actual meaning of the sentence is that we cannot play out because it is cold otherwise if you see the subject of the sentence is missing so we've added the subject here that is the pronoun we to keep the meaning of the sentence intact so our sentence after removing to is it is so cold that we cannot play out another example the tree was too high to climb when we remove to and change our sentence our sentence will be the tree was so high that it cannot be climbed we can also write the sentence like this the tree is so high that i cannot climb by using the pronoun i or we can write in this manner also the tree is so high that one cannot climb now let's try and solve these sentences rewrite the following sentences by replacing the adverb to the first sentence sita is too small to do the job answer sita is so small that she cannot do the job the second sentence the people were too furious to be controlled answer the people were so furious that they couldn't be controlled the third sentence the king was too perfect to make a mistake answer the king was so perfect that he could not make a mistake and the last sentence he was too tired to attend the party answer he was so tired that he couldn't attend the party see children in all these sentences the the original sentence which contained to is a positive sentence and when we re, when we remove to our sentence became a negative one type 4 of removal of to is when we see to for in the sentence look at this example he is too slow for a runner what is the meaning of the sentence means this person is so slow that he cannot be a runner that he is not able to be a runner so we'll see how we will write this sentence now we'll use the same rule almost the same rule he is so slow that he cannot now we have this for over here instead of for i can use be so he is so slow that he cannot be a runner instead of writing be i can also say become 
he is so slow that he cannot become a runner both the ways are correct let's take another example she is too weak for a wrestler means this person is so weak that she cannot be a wrestler or she cannot become a wrestler so we remove to and write the sentence as she is so weak that she cannot become a wrestler now observe these sentences the first sentence these shoes are too small for me understand the meaning of this sentence the shoes are too small so will the one who is going to wear the shoes will he be able to wear it no he will not be able to wear so let's see how our sentence sounds after removing the adverb to these shoes are so small that i cannot wear it while rewriting our sentence we have replaced the pronoun me with i let's see another example the coffee is too hot for me the sentence means that the coffee is very hot or extremely hot than proper so will anyone be able to drink an extremely hot coffee no so when we remove to our sentence will be the coffee is so hot that i cannot have it the last sentence the night is too cold for us what does this sentence mean it means that the night is very cold that someone cannot bear it so our sentence after removing to will be the night is so cold that we cannot bear it children let's recall all that we learned today today we learned about how to remove the adverb to from a sentence the adverb to can be replaced by the word also and as well as when it qualifies a verb the adverb to can also be replaced with the words very extremely and excessively when it qualifies an adjective or an adverb the adverb to can also be replaced by using the words so that in a sentence kindly complete this exercise for your homework on a file sheet paper preserve them and keep it for your learning rewrite the following sentences by replacing the adverb to children with this we come to the end of this topic on removal of adverb to this was all for now thank you and take care